Well, hello again, uh, June 13th, 2019, uh, journal 78, which means it's T plus 72. Uh, we got 28 days left. That's February. I can, I can certainly handle that. Uh, went to clinic as usual on a Thursday, uh, at least for the next 28 days. And, uh, the results were, were good, better than I had hoped for. Uh, hemoglobin, which is a telling symptom, the difference, uh, low hemoglobin and, and uh, any, any kind of an increase in that hemoglobin from 7.7 .7, uh, or thereabouts to 8.9, which is a, a big jump uh, percentage-wise. Uh, it's a difference between walking across the parking lot, huffing and puffing and, and trying to you know, marshal up enough energy to make it across and, uh, and, you know, kind of like suck in air, like an internal combustion engine um, and having the energy to uh, get things done and, and uh, feel like you feel like you can do something other than sleep. Uh, but more, more telling perhaps is the fact that my platelet count has stayed stable um, on its own. And that my white blood count went up slightly on its own. Um, and the red blood count went up, probably because of the, the transfusion. But you know, when you're when you're feeling kind of punk, and anything that you can do to help feel better um, makes a huge difference. Uh, after after we uh Went to clinic and got the report from the doctor, which said we're on track to uh, to leave um, on the 12th of July and head home, which is really exciting. It means clinic will be once a week, um, probably on Thursdays. And uh, it, there are all kinds of other things that are associated with that, like, you know, eating at select A-rated uh A-rated in, in L.A., for those of you who aren't around here, are restaurants that have gotten the highest uh, rating from uh, whichever department rates restaurants to make sure that they're clean and they're following all the rules that they're supposed to follow. Um, and that you're only going to clinic once a week, which is always exciting. And, uh, and, and a number of other you know, another, a number of other things that I'll probably find out about when we get closer. Uh, we had lunch in the cafeteria, and uh, it's too bad the hockey season's over because in many cases, some of those hamburgers can be used as a hockey puck if you freeze it. Uh, but, you know, it's still one step closer to the goal of a normal life, which is eating someplace other than the room. Uh, and that worked out really nicely. And uh, from there, we went to visit uh, a, a dear friend who's on T plus 15 uh, of her stem cell bone marrow transplant. And I've mentioned, I've mentioned Rose before. She's uh, an amazing fighter, um, incredibly strong. Uh, I have no doubt that she's going to be fine going through this. I wanted to check in and make sure she was okay, uh, especially since a week ago when I asked the doc if I could see her. Uh, he shook his head and said it wouldn't be a good time. She was going through um, a really rough time. Uh, and, and part of her response to the chemo was GI tract related. And uh, I remember what that's like <laughs> and all too clearly, all too well. Um, and it's, you know, it's depressing because everybody that comes in the room has to gown up, um, wash up, put on gloves, put on a mask, all of the above. And uh, it was good seeing her. Uh, it was good seeing her in, in decent spirits, considering and it was especially good to share with her that, you know, when she gets to T uh, 
uh, 72, she's going to remember that it felt like hell and it, that it's not the kind of thing that you would, you'd want to do twice, but you get through it and, uh, you don't really remember the specifics of why you felt lousy, which is good. Um, otherwise if it all came back as vividly as it was experienced, you wouldn't want to walk in the room. Um, and walking in the room and visiting someone who's that kind of ill, especially when you have some insight into what that's like is really important. And then I went to, I went, I did something that I never thought I would ever do. Um, and not necessarily because I didn't want to, it's just that I'd never had the time. Um, it always seemed like there were so many other things that were so much more important, but at the encouragement of Leslie, uh, I went to a, an art class put on by the city of hope for caregivers and patients, um, as therapy, you know, for your recovery, for, you know, overcoming your illness, because they found that with the, uh, the time that you spend being involved and, and, and completely engaged. And whatever it is you're doing, you're not thinking about your disease. And that's frankly a good thing. Um, it helps you get through it uh, on many different levels. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I've always been a doodler. Uh, I've always, you know, I've always liked to sort of make believe draw. And uh, I always thought it'd be good to paint. Um, only because it does look therapeutic. And... Uh, and I didn't embarrass myself, which was really good. Uh, if you're a perfectionist, uh, and I, and I, you know, I'm guilty as, as charged in that regard, you don't want to do stuff like that because you don't want to look foolish. You don't want to, um, uh, you have a vision in, in your mind of what you should be capable of. And when you don't perform at that level, you, 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 you're really hard on yourself. Um, the good news is it helps you perform at a much higher level than you might otherwise perform. Uh, the bad news is it makes you neurotic. And uh, I certainly have figured that part of it out. But uh, my wife tells me I, I didn't embarrass myself. I did okay. And uh, I did well enough and enjoyed it enough so that I will probably do it again when it's offered again, which will probably be next Thursday after clinic once more, you know, after lunch. And it, I found it, I found it, uh, rewarding enough to, uh, take lessons in the future and to get better at it. And hopefully I'll be able to do that at home. I'll find some place to do that at home. I'm sure that there are plenty of places that, that teach acrylic and watercolor paint um, and how to draw, you know, more than a doodle. And I think that's just another testimony to how incredible this place is, uh, City of Hope. Um, and that they have realized that you don't just heal the body, you, uh, you take care of the, the whole person and the soul as well. And I think that's important. Uh, that, that's why they have art lessons. That's why they have a Japanese garden and a koi pond that I would give anything to own um, or put in my own backyard. Uh, that's why they have a sculpture garden. That's why they have uh, everything that they have, everything that they do is so incredible. In any case, uh, that was my, uh, that was my Thursday. It was an enjoyable day. Um, I hope that, that uh, one of these times my hemoglobin will, will hold up by itself and continue to increase, continue to have the numbers go up. Um, but as of right now, all the blood work that we've done, including the, the uh, molecular blood testing that was done, 
um, tell me and tell Leslie that we're on schedule to head home in just 28 days. And that's spectacular as far as I'm concerned, um, especially recognizing what I've been through and what, what Rose is going through right now. And there are miracles here. Uh, and they happen every single day. So uh, until tomorrow, stay well, take care, and uh, I'll talk to you then.